Hello and welcome to this little intro video of our next project. This is the Card Emmy, a multi-effect engine for the Buchla Music Easel. Like its older brother, the Card OC, this is a slot-powered card utilizing the modulation capabilities of the 208. The main interface are the six potentiometers, placed in two rows that correspond with the audio inputs. We place them like this to illustrate this can be used as mono in, stereo out effect, dual mono, and even serial mono if you feed one of the outputs back into the input. The card has an encoder to the right that is used to select and activate one of the eight programs. We are still in development of the hard and software, so nothing is set in stone yet. But you can expect effects in the lane of Magneto, Volante, H9 or Ghost. We are using a high quality audio codec capable of 96kHz processing. There are four soft buttons and three locking switches on the right. Depending on the effect loaded, they are there to mute, unmute the effects, act as clipping indicators, and they also change the mode from stereo to mono. But enough tech talk. Let me quickly show you how some of the effects planned and how the modulation work. So we start with a dual delay. You can hear it already in the background. And let me add some volume here. So this effect uses both audio inputs independently. But if only the left one is used, it copies the signal to the right side. Users of a 208C can make use of the secondary output on their module to feed the right channel as well. The rest of us will get a mono to stereo conversion. So both delay lines feature independent ribet controls. Timing controls and feedback levels are also depending on which side you're using. So right now we have a lot of feedback on the right side, almost nothing on the left. So let's change that. The audio is sample buffered and changing the delay time will result in a cool rubber band effect. The three switches lock the controls to the two channels in this effect. The first one take control of the dry red, and the next one locks the time. The last one locks the feedback. And now we have a dual in mono out effect. Unlocking the switches will give us back the stereo. But now also the effect in and out is linked. No delay. Mono. Independent stereo delay. But let's have a look at another one. This is our version of a classic ladder filter. We have cutoff controls to the left, then we have the resonance, and here we have the different filter modes. We can switch from low pass to high pass and band pass. Let me play the sequence a bit faster, and then we can talk modulation. Each parameter pod can be modulated by the easel control voltages. We assigned the most meaningful ones to each control, but the selector switch also allows for external inputs. 
There are no bananas on this card, so one has to use the inputs called card 1 or 2 card 2 on the 28C. Once activated, a modulation source can be adjusted with the attenuators to select how much modulation is being added or subtracted from the offset set by the pot. And now we have a self-modulating filter, not unlike a Sherman filter bank or Muga Fuga. Careful with the resonance. The resonance is actually that powerful, you can also use it as a sign generator. Well, that's all for the introduction. We will work hard and add more algorithms in the coming month and even a dedicated sync port. But you get the idea now. Check out the Kickstarter and see if you can still snag one of the first batch and I hope we sparked your interest. <laughs>